Beautiful. Right, so find the centre point of that now. We'll just put this across here. It's a nice big one. Look. These aren't bad, what we like roughly there. Same as this one. Uh, that's it, we've got our centre point, let's drill that out now. So this is the um, the base, well this is the plate that fixes to the screw and we've sort of changed how it works a little bit because we want to reduce the amount of thread that's sticking out although these are working in a completely sort of static compressive way we don't really want too much thread showing so what I'm going to do is bore a hole up into this oak to allow for that and, and uh, a clearance hole to allow for the nut and then we'll push the whole thing in screw it on there then we'll lift the whole thing up and spin it round so that this uh, in the top of the ground screw there's a, a threaded insert so we'll just wind it down um, as long as it goes in maybe an inch into the thread um, that'll obviously hold it and we'll also have a little bit of adjustment we can spin it up or down to get it perfect so let's get that drilled out now we've got a 35mm force and a bit here we'll put that in first And obviously we've got, to, we've got to drill the bigger hole first um, so that we can then put the smaller hole up. If we did the, the smaller hole, which is still fairly big, we won't be able to centre this one. And I'll put this one in. Oh, oh it doesn't like that. Right, let's see if that fits in there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So that the longer hole gets clearance for that, the force and bit hole gets clearance for the nut, and then we can put our four screws in there, and then we can just twist the whole post as it goes down into the thread insert in top of the ground screw. So I'm just going to come to uh, finally fix this plate on. I've had a little rummage around the van and managed to scrape together some uh, 10 mil by 100 coach screws. I know they're a little bit overkill, but you know that's how I roll. Um, I'm just going to drill a six mil pilot hole. I'm only going to put two in each. There's no need for four. I'm going to put a 6mm pilot hole in and then uh, wind them in with the uh, impact driver. Look at that. Rock solid. Absolutely fantastic. That's a brilliant little impact driver. That is just a half inch. Uh, it's not quite as fast as the screwdriver ones, but I think it's got much more power. Certainly saves winding it in by, uh, by the old adjustable spanner. So we're nearly ready for the moment of truth. We've uh, prepared our oak post and I've screwed the bottom plate on. Um, I don't think that's 100% how it's sort of designed to be used, but we've had a look at it in our instance. We think that's the best way. So we've got to stand this post upright um, put this thread, this threaded bar down into that hole there, spin it round until it gets to the right height and then this is the first beam we've cut. We're going to clamp that on the side there. We've got another one um, to clamp on and go diagonally to keep it upright. Um, I've cut a small notch in this end which I've cut a corresponding tab on the inside to sit on here. So let's, uh, let's get that up and see how we get on. Um, I'm just going to set the camera up on a stool best I can because I forgot my tripod today.
double stick, I can't quite see that. Yep. So we are making progress, but we're being hampered as usual by the great late spring, early summer weather. Today it's either been raining or blowing a massive gale. I suspect the audio is probably horrific on, the, on some of this footage, but we're just gonna wait a second before we put that, that second post in. So I've brought the laser down and repositioned it. And what it's done is it's flung a line out and we can actually see it because uh, it's quite overcast today. Um, if we can just see there. Um, we can actually see the laser line. What I've done is put a pencil mark there. I've taken the measurement from the shoulder here down to the pencil mark and I've put the same measurement um, from the shoulder of this one down onto here. And now all we've got to do is wind that down until the laser hits that pencil mark. If I can't see it, obviously I'll use the detector. Tiny bit. I don't want to score that that oak. I don't want to put a, a score on that oak. Lovely. Same the other side. So apologies, the sound might be awful because it's really windy here, but I just wanted to show you uh, these two shoulders that I put in here. Obviously the first shoulder I cut takes this outside nine by two, which has a full bearing all the way through. This middle one, which is in effect a sandwich, um, is then cut so that it's flush 
the second housing and then this last piece of number two shoots all the way through and closes it all in and it's just a nice joint I think here it's going to keep it all nice and stiff when I bolt this triple together although this isn't bearing on here it will all become part of the same structural beam which will take the roof so that's another phase done of this job um, really happy sort of at the end of the day I mean it's been an awful day today really raining and windy and sorry if there's loads of wind noise over the camera but uh, you know got the ground screws in really happy about that they're um, quite amazing really they're absolutely rock solid so really happy with that um, got my oak posts uh, in cut and formed uh, they look nice and tidy now I've got my stop chamfers on it's all bound in at the top now eventually what's going to happen the feather boarding is going to come through uh, at this level underneath that uh, beam there and it will follow all the way round there's going to be a gable end on here so the the boarding will follow that all the way round um, so yeah all, all in all really really happy got it all sort of tied in temporarily and when the roof goes on, I'm putting a truss roof on this, as I said. When the roof goes on and I board across the underside of it, that'll make that rock solid. So the next job for me is to get some timber and start setting out this deck. I've got another ground screw which is going in the centre between these two posts here. And I've got one that goes in the internal corner of the deck and another one that goes on this external corner here. So that'll be the next job that I'll be doing. I hope this has been of interest to you. It's been quite interesting for me, actually. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching.